welcome to our show. These are the days of glory. I'm telling you, full of glory. You can feel, you can see, you can sense. If you have a sensation, if your spiritual sense is working, you see. I hope yesterday you were blessed by Apostle Skushanka. I said, ah, I I'm telling you, you are encouraged. 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 You but before it's too late, please just change. Be a good man. Be a wonderful man. I'm telling you, tonight I am preaching also. I'm going to give you the gospel of Jesus Christ. We don't want to do it. But it's funny. We want to protect. provide. We want to change our life. We want to change our community. We want to change our world. I am the light. You are the light. Both of us. We are the light. We are the salt of the aid. We have to influence and to change our world. If we don't do so, nothing will happen. Nothing absolutely will happen. We will be crying and crying and be sorrowful. But we need to change. We need to be the light. We need to be those people who are going to shine and be the light in the name of Jesus. That's what I'm talking about today. You are going to be blessed. That's why I encourage you. Let's shine on. Let's shine on. Let's shine on. Let's shine on gang sabu ya masekini kyo bese kufa leli singa konzo intro chusa ke lezi nchoma lezi nchela nga nesi na mata nga nga ende nchelu kuchela is that to so good as boys and in Jumelo? It because they were very powerful. We bring them, we brought them from archives, fresh and you are born in my fresh. Is the local local gazelle who get me from about black and white and so they love hookah, but it's a little man. You are going to be changed, you are going to be revived. As in years, it is a cool man as Nazi, which is a spill and unclange, who is a gazelle. Just listen, tell your friends, please share the page, tell your loved ones, tell your friends. These are the Days of glory 2020 to us of Boning as Mulo but no. My God, days of glory. Because of hell, because of not rich gender based violence, because of not rich coronavirus, because of not everything, because in two thousand casmul. If you see kind of glory, cupboard, a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a I know you're gonna be blessed tonight. Ngulugula kabusi sa. Please share this page, subscribe to our channel. Jobu bona loku vela la mapanze. Please follow us and love us and support us. If you want to give and support this ministry, please give because the account is located currently on the screen so that you'll support this work. So so kila Data 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 data. We will be connected. Ngulugula kabusi sa. We love you so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for telling your friends. Thank you for sharing this page. We love you so much. May God bless you. Until we meet next time. Bye-bye. Enjoy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah.
Praise the Lord. Amen. The Lord is good. All the time. All the time. I sense the declaration. Mina ngi ngobi. Ngapesi rukaba ngobi. Gata lulu ngoba. Ngobe ngobe izwe. Ugu kola guami. Ngi ntloga ngswonu msila. Ngapesi ula ngiko ngapanzi. Ngi abolegi sangbolegi. Asikis kales lung selo mina. Esinga guazuk pumelela. No limo lung vugelayo. Lizo guachulelua. Unkulunkulu koboloak. Loki paper eliting ye corner. Mina ye corner. Loki paper eliting nako. Mina ye nako. Eka many regaches. Gonke nga tlele loko na wasema parateni. Guzo pedeli swa manje. Guzo tuali swa manje. Guzo gwenzega manje. Eka meni diga chesu. Ako satane. Ako timone. Ako mundu. Ako sita. Esi nga wazu gugu vimba. Loko nkulunku lang tlele kona. Guzo mangali samina. Among Alice Sobos Army, among Alice Mshaba Wonke, Minan Kuluza Gonke, Ongaba is it here? So Gongela, Lokunkulunkulu, and Selecon, Geka Margaches. Amen. Our Bogo Makela Noak. Are you ready for your miracle? Are you ready to receive? Did you move everything aside? So that it won't be an obstacle to receive from above. Are you ready to receive? To receive everything that God has planned for you today? In Jesus, name. In Jesus' name, I believe you are ready. I believe you are ready. <laughs> make sure it's cut a circle. Make sure you don't waste time. You get them. You can everything you get. You can everything you get. When you get, you must can it. Nezalem. <laughs> when you get, can it. Don't lose it. When you can it, it won't be rotten. You can interpret it. Nezalem. When you can it. My book tall. Usually, imperishable food. We can eat. We can it. Can can preserve food. So, in all your gettings, get wisdom. Wisdom will give you understanding. Understanding will make you to make good and right decisions. You know, God wants to have a generation that believes in His Word. The generation that will influence the world for the kingdom of God. God wants each and every one to represent his kingdom. Wherever you are, be God's representative. He is on the mission. That's why we are preaching and teaching. 
It's why we are demonstrating God's word. It's because it must be clear to you. You must understand your calling. Understand the mission and accomplish what you have been given. He had a purpose for gathering us together. He wants to have a car nation. The nation that is committed to his work. The nation that is accountable to, the, uh, to what he has given and be responsible to the vision and be reliable in everything that God has given to you. And you need to be faithful in what God has given you. Because God wants to invest in you. He wants to believe in you. When he believes in you, he will give you the permanent blessings. Something that will never be revoked. Something that can never be stolen by even the devil himself. It's something that will change you and your children and your children's children. God is on the mission. The Holy Spirit is still, still speaking today. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. God is on the mission. He is still busy looking around for those car people. I mean, people who are committed, accountable, reliable, and responsible. Who knows what have been given to them. And when you know what has been given to you, you value your gift. You value your blessing. It is very important to know, to honor what has been given to you. You know what has been given to you. You mustn't take it lightly. You know when you focus on the kingdom of God, the kingdom of God will focus on you. You will be an apple of God's eye. You know, there are things we make ourselves to. Ubone if there is absolutely nothing he can do with you. You will remain but you won't be a trustee in the things of God. There are people when God sits in his boardroom, he mentions their names. In Africa, I've got my son and my servant, Swanis Busisom Song. In Africa, I've got my son and my servant, Busisom Song. He will say, In Europe, I've got Soren Song. In Europe, I've got Soren Song. In Southern Africa, I've got Soren Song. In Southern Africa, I've got Soren Song. You know, in the book of, I can't remember which prophet is this. But God said, 
Even if I can raise Job and Daniel. In this situation. He knew that he was a God of Job. He knew he was God of Daniel. And he is proud about that. Can he be proud of being called your God? I said, can he be proud? You need to prove yourself. Tell your neighbor, we need to prove ourselves. It's our mission and our work. To prove ourselves to him. Are you ready for that? You know, I will, I will be glad and excited. If there will be trustees of God in this church. In this generation. The people that God can trust to invest his money to. People whom God can invest his glory to. He can invest his power and his gifting to. I wish that God will, will do that. But my preaching and my teaching are persuading you to be on that kind of position. It will depend if you really follow them. Because I speak to him. And I say to him, how can we tap into your heart? I mean, the heart of your heart. How can we get into you so that you, we, we will be connected to your will? And you will give the best to this generation through us. And he will say, I'll help you. I'll give you the message. Tell them. If they don't obey the message, they can't tap into my glory. They can't touch my heart if they don't do what you teach them. You see, we need to believe in God. I said we need to believe in God. And if we believe in God, we will believe God. Can't you see any difference there? <laughs> I say if we believe in God, we will believe God. When we believe God, God's faith will be in us. God's faith will be in us. We won't operate with our faith. We'll operate with God's faith in us. Have God's faith in you. Transcend, upgrade into that level. Everything you are, everything 
you hear with your ear must build your faith my great and transcend everything not anything but your faith i know my in because your faith is the one of the criteria things that can make you to please god you know we come to where we analyze things that are ingredients in our faith in our lives when we come into details about things, it's where we can become specialists in some of the things. Are you getting it? Hello? Mm-hmm. Am I boring you? Are you getting it, church? Tell your neighbor we need this. More than the way we think we need this. We need the Lord to help us. To grasp in it. You may take your seat. Greetings to my pastor Elsie Lamin. Bing alelum funde suamun funde su Elsie Lamin. And all the elders of the church. And my elders on the band. Our fathers and our mothers. Baba be to no mama be to. Brothers and sisters. Over four to not that they wait. Our sons and daughters. Matotaraz na matotar. Greetings in Jesus. And bing alele kamen elga chos. And all the servants of the Lord that are with us today. All the honorable people. Are you with me, church? Yesterday, yesterday I spoke about the seed. And the fruit. And I said, the devil is after the seed. If the seed is contaminated, the fruit will be contaminated too. And I said to you yesterday, today, I will continue and try to help you to grasp into the ways of God and see how God can help you to grow your faith. It is very important to know the ways of God. Many people know the works of God. But they don't know the ways of God. Science has ways and methods of doing things. They stick to their ways and methods. They call them formulas. When you follow that formula, you will get the exact result. In Africa, in Europe, in Asia, America, Scandinavia, and all islands. The formula if you did the formula right, 
you will get the result straight. It's the exact thing with God. He has ways. He does things. Remember one day after his resurrection he met some of his disciples they were going back they were big sliding on their way home Jesus met them he said what stories are you talking about what is you are morosed they said, but you don't know the stories. How? The things that happened in Jerusalem. Is it doesn't Jerusalem? About Jesus. Who was the Son of God? Who did wonders? Change everything. Heal, heal sick people. Raise the dead. Open the blind eyes. He was all over. Three days ago, he died. And he was buried. It's a third day today. He hasn't risen. Jesus himself, he began to explain that Christ has to suffer. They never saw him. He explained everything from Moses until Malachi. Then he made himself as if he was passing. And they said to him, Please, stay with us. Because it's a night. Come and dine with us. You will go in the morning. They came in the house. They prepared the supper. While they prepared the supper, while the food was on the table, he shook one of his way. When he used to bless bread. He used one of his ways. He blessed the bread. He looked to the Father. And he gave them. When he gave them, their eyes were open. That means he has ways of doing things so that you will recognize him. If you can't recognize his ways, you will miss him while you met him. So are we I want you to be wiser spiritually and also in the natural. I want you to understand as God has said he himself he said be wise as serpent. Be humble as dove. So you need to be wise like a serpent. Don't be a serpent. Be like, I mean, be wise like don't be a serpent. Be like, be wise like it. When a python attacks a human or, or animal, he uses his ways or her ways, I can say so. Attraction. 
and it should come around you. There are some snakes that can mesmerize you. Before they touch you. Before Some snakes they will alert you before they bite you. Then you will know what that sounds for. You are being alerted to be careful because there is a snake around. In every animal, there are ways. They use ways. Even in humans. There is nothing that just happened. <laughs> Are you getting it? Or oh, am I boring it? I'm not firefully. Please move with me. This will help you. I need to speak sense into your mind. I need to give you something that will remain with you. Something that will change your life. Even if I die tomorrow, at least there is something that I invested, imparted on you. Are you with me, church? Are you getting it? Hmm. He has his ways. He has his works. God is a manager. He knows how to deal with things. He orchestrated everything. <laughs> he knows every species under the sun. Was zonki nene enga pants gumsham species? He was the one zonke e konem sabin species. I interpret him as a distractor. <laughs> Are you with me, Chair? The numbers alone. I'm just trying to move with you. He orchestrated everything. Praise he is an architect. He does all things. When the song is in. He created everything. What You see? He knew. Why else? When he created you out of the dust, he didn't create your bones. I said he didn't create your bones. He created your body. <laughs> he didn't create your eyes. He didn't create your hair. But he created your body. He knew why else after depositing his work in you. After depositing a work he 
Then the ruach will bring something which is not there into existence. Adam didn't have hair when he was created. Adam there were no movement of eyes when he was created. There were no eyelashes. But when the Ruach came into him, the hair came into existence. The eyelashes came into existence. I know I'm, I'm disturbing your thinking. Hair grew out of his body. There were no poses. But when Ruach came into him, everything came into place. That's another principle we need to understand. When we pray for a blind person, we must know Everything comes into his ruach. Yeah. Hey. It's a principle from the beginning. Um, he only created the body. There were no fingernails. It was a mud all over. But when he breathed the breath of life, when a human being became a living soul, then the fingernails were seen. The movement of fingers, the movement of eyes, the eyelashes, the head begin to grow. But it was a statue that remains. That's why. It must not be a problem when we pray for a creative miracle. When we pray for somebody who doesn't have teeth, we must pray for his spirit to come and hit the body. When the spirit hit the body, Anything that misses will come into life. Maybe are you moving with me? You are not lacking behind. Do you understand? The body was just a body. With that life. Until the Ruach of God. The spirit of God, the breath of God, hits the body. What makes miracle? It's the breath of the Lord. It's the Holy Ghost. If you go to the book of to the book of Romans, chapter eight, verse eleven, Paul says, "If the spirits of Him." who raised Christ from the dead lives in you will quicken your mortal bodies. That's why a blind person when he cries to Jesus Christ he says Jesus son of David have mercy on me. And Jesus asks what do you want me to do for you? And the blind man said I want to see. And Jesus said let it be as your faith. Let it be as your faith. Suddenly, the blind man opened his eyes. Who opened his eyes? It was the Ruach of God. It was the Holy Ghost. When you pray for a person, the healing doesn't come from you, it comes from him through a who.
Hello? Sunburn? If somebody can come, and say, I've got one breast. I need another breast. I lost it because of cancer. How will us do you believe? If you believe, you can receive another breast. The matter is, is to believe. There is absolutely nothing that can never happen. If we believe, we must call. When we believe, must call. We work with the Holy Spirit. He is the performer of miracles. The Holy Spirit was hovering upon the faces of the waters until God said. When he said, let there be light, the light was there. Because the Holy Spirit, because the Ruach, was already covering the world. He only waited for the word of God to be spoken. For your miracle, we need to speak the word of God. The Holy Spirit is all over you to perform a miracle. I hope I'm not speaking Greek. Hello. Sunborn. If somebody comes with short fingers, and say, I need more fingers. Do you believe? We are called. Let it be as your faith. And fingers will be complete. Some of the things are lacking with us. God can perform miracles. Anytime. No meaning. Anywhere. No Any miracle. No me It depends on your faith. The measure of your faith. The limitations is are under your faith. Come on, Can you get that? Are you feeling it? I'm just trying to change your mind, the way, the, the mindset. I'm resetting your mindset. To think like God. To perform a miracle. It's not a, a big deal for God. A big deal is you. Do you believe it? We are called in. If somebody said, I've lost my hair, I need my hair. Are you said, Receive your hair? Just like that. How do you expect it? You have a mindset. No, I said you have a mindset. You already programmed your mind how it's going to happen. <laughs> Let's go to Sunburn. If in the beginning God created the body, this body had no eyes. Has no nose. It was just a, a picture of a nose. But when he said, <laughs> Now it The doll was breathing. And it began to move. There were no bones. It was just mud. Touch your neighbor uh, listening to this. Don't sleep. Take this. It is very important. You know, God works in... 
I don't want to use the word in mysterious ways because we can know them. When you want to. He revealed them. He said to his disciples. The disciples asked him, by the way. He said, why do you always say things in parables? And he said, what? You! Having given the ability to understand the mysteries of God. Hello? You have been given. We have been given. Everybody has been given. The power of God is unlimited. The only thing that limits the power of God it's our faith. It's our mind. Our mind tune our faith. What you know what programs your faith. No, it's what programs your faith. Because Jehovah's Witnesses they said there is no speaking in tongues. There are no miracles today. There are no casting of demons. It all ended with the first church. But today we are still casting demons. They can't see that. Because they don't want to see it. If they don't want to see it, they can't see it. Your mind can make you not to see once you see other things. <laughs> your mind can make you not to see the things before you. You can see what you want to see. But it depends on you. When you tune your mind, you tune your faith. Your faith cannot grow beyond your mind. Hey, let me repeat myself again. Your faith cannot grow beyond your roof. Your mind is your roof. You need to grow in your mind. How do you grow in your mind? You listen and you see. Unfamiliar things. So that your mind will be familiar with those things. Once you get used to them, they become your norm. When they are your norm. You are no more terrified. Are you getting it? Are you getting it? Church, are you you are in university of Calvary? Or you are in the University of the Holy Spirit. University Open your mind, church. Open your mind. You know. Yes. The mighty men of God whom walked before us. They didn't have a revelation to transfer what they had to the people. They thought it was for them. But I have a revelation. That's what I can do. I must help you to be able to do it also. 
I am empowering you so that you will the way I empower you because I was not jealous and selfish automatically you won't be selfish if you are selfish who did you take that from? because I've transferred the seed so this seed is not selfish. I wish everybody can prophesy. I wish everybody can see Jesus. I wish everybody can drive demons out. I wish everybody can heal the sick. I wish everybody can preach like the way I preach. I wish everybody can have a revelation of teaching, articulating the word of God. That's how I wish because I can't contain it to myself I need to train more people the harvest is so great it's so vast I cannot finish alone there are many people who are sick and demonized by the devil some of them they cannot be touched by me they are in your work in your industry where you are I must empower you to go where you are and touch those people with the very same anointing with the very same power with the very same glory upon your life the same anointing upon me is coming upon you to transform your family to transform your community to transform your industry with the great power, with a great spirit, with a great understanding, with a great revelation, you are going to do it with the mighty spirit of God. We mustn't be selfish. If we are selfish, we won't receive more. If we give, we will receive. The more I give, the more I receive. It is a revelation. It is a principle. When I give, somebody will give it to me. Oh God, are you with me, child? I said it is a principle. It is a way of God. If you give somebody, somebody will give it to you. It might not be the person that you gave, but somebody somewhere will give it to you. Because you gave. We can never grow if we don't give. We can never grow in his revelation if we don't share what we have. Take out what you have so that you can receive what you don't have. Are you with me, church? I say give what you do, what you have so that you will receive what you don't have. It's a principle. It's a principle. He works in those ways. It's a formula. When you want to receive from somebody you don't know, you need to give to somebody who has a need. When you give to somebody who has a need, somebody will be touched you will be touched by God. You will give into your bosom a good measure. Press down. Shake and together. Running over. Running over. Running over. Running over. But if you keep, it will remain the same. I said I'm trying to show you his ways. His formulas. You know when I deliver people I don't sweat. I used to. I used to. Because I found the principles. <laughs> hmm. Are you getting it? If you don't give, 
Rest assured you won't receive. It's a principle. Final. It is final. Don't tell us you are cursed. You are not cursed. Uh -uh. You have made yourself. Hello? <laughs> if you love people, they will love you back. If you hate people, they will hate you, my friend. That's a principle. What you plant, you will reap. It's a principle that how God works. It doesn't matter if you are a Sangoma. You are a Hindu. You are a Jewish. You are a black. Or you are a white person. If you plant. If you sow. You will reap. If you plant and sow in the flesh. You will reap from the flesh. If you plant in the spirit. You are going to reap in the spirit. Do, do, do you get that? Amen. Is anybody in the church? Amen. Is anybody in the church? Amen. Amen. <laughs> I bring life to people. That's why they cannot easily kill me. They can send a hitman. I have sown life. It's not easy to kill me. It's not easy. A hitman can stand before me with an AK-47. I have resurrected people who are near death. So I have planted a seed of life. Amen. A hitman will try to shoot me. He will just release the sweet soul to you. This man is crazy. I'd rather be crazy than to mourn until death. Are you said I'm trying to disseminate and give you the nuggets. Nigga is a clerk, Jesus. Things that will change your life. It's not a noise that changes you. It's the words deposited into your life. Are you with me? It's not the noise. I can make a noise. I can shout. I can preach until I'm sweating. I can do that. But I want to speak to your mind. I want to deposit something to your spirit, to your mind, so that it will change you. You are very important to God. He says, I have plans for you. I know the plans I have for you. I know. I have plans. God, <laughs> do you have plans for my life? Of course. Yes, son. 
I have plans to prosper you so that you will have a beautiful, wonderful, and peaceful future. Me, Lord, can you plans for an ant like me? An ant like me? Something you cannot see. You are very important to God. He can maneuver everything to your favor. I'm very important to God. I know that. I know that. I am the apple of his eye. <laughs> if needs be, he can make the rain to come strong. If needs be, he can change the atmosphere. Just for me. Because I'm very important to him. You know, when you know that you are important to him, you handle yourself in a very, very important person. You consult. We are command. Your report. We are reporter food. Lord, I'm going out now. Because Can you go with me? And say, okay, let's go. At, I, and you will say, go yes, before me uh, uh, um, um, and prepare things for me. Uh, 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 and also go behind me yes, uh, uh, um, food. and prepare things. Uh, 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 and uh, go around me. Uh, uh, I remember one day I saw him uh, whilst I was in the taxi. Uh, uh, you know, he was walking like this. Uh, uh, whilst the taxi was on 120. He was just walking. See, the text was on his ankle. Moving. With me. Outside the taxi. While I was inside the taxi. Watching the taxi. It was not an angel, it was he. I remember one day I said to him, Lord, can you send me a message through an angel? And he looked at me. And he said, Is it not enough for me to speak to you? And I said, No, I just I want to have an experience. I've read a lot of books. People they spoke to angels. You have sent angels to them. But I want to have that experience. I've never had that experience. And he said, Okay. I'm going to do it for you. Because you want it. You insist. We have In a few days you will see him. The following week. I saw the land alive. But as I was watching television, a huge man came into my window. And a car. And say, a man is faithful to his master. And I wanted to ask him, yo, his fingers, his hand, was of a tough man. When he spoke, it was the strongest voice. It was wearing in white. And he didn't, his feet didn't touch the floor. He was floating. And he said, the man is faithful to his master. And he disappeared. When, when I wanted to ask him, he disappeared. Later on, he came. 
Go come on, scat up. You receive mamas. What to tell me as well? And I say, Yes, thank you. I've got an experience. By the way, although I didn't ask, he's an abuzang a lot of water. I was widely awake. It was not a vision. When I was not born along, I'm not begging. I was all. I was all loud. Are you with me, Chet? I was widely awake. I saw an angel. That was an experience that he gave me. Besides all these angels that come and worship, that are standing on guards everywhere. You know, there are angels that are standing there and there and there, even here near the pulpit. They don't speak. Just like this. They are holding a sword. They don't talk. They don't worship. They are the giants. They have been sent to protect us. But to Nyelo and Jukzu Skata. Sometimes I'll see in their eyes if there is a problem in the midst of the people. Go see his cutting Zobolanga Mesa, Bomanga, Azomanga, Begun and King, and lies to win the Bazalan. You know, the one that is standing there. Yabolemla will watch. Yes, Obo. And when I see that one standing there, they will watch in the very same area. Then I will know the way they communicate. There is something that I don't need to worry about. Oh. Yeah. 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 I don't command them. No, they, they know what to do. They are those that work with me. Oh, I can say, do this, do this, do that, do that. If somebody is radical, I'll say, hold him. They will do that. They are serving me. With the because of the salvation of Jesus Christ. They are our servants. Sometimes they say, we never heard Jesus speaks about angels, commanding angels. You never heard him. You will never hear him. I heard him. He said they are, he charged them. He said they are helping me. He said, I must tell them what, what to do. do. I tell those angels around me. Yeah. They are there to do things. Some of them are there. They are not carrying any sword. They are ready for me to send them. He said, I need money. Go and pick. Bring back money. I need this, I need that, I need that. They will run and bring it back. They will bring everything that I want. They are there. It's their business. It's gone. They went out from heaven to serve. And there are those who walk with me. When I walk, Mangham. they are with me. Zunam. I will not be afraid. <laughs> My flesh can be scared sometimes. No, my 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 scared. But I'll just say, they will just appear. No, they will. Not their heads. heads. Then the strength will come back. And I will say, come with me. It was <laughs> My life is in his hands. Are you with me, church? No. That knowledge gives you the assurance. Hey. 
I remember last week on Wednesday. I prayed for Mrs. Mtetu. We chopped the witch doctor. There were pieces all over. Why it ukula in the spirit? He said, Die. Tifa. In his spirit, there were pieces all over. And I even said to her, she must do the same to the woman that wanted to take her husband. She did the same. Somebody will say, you are a witch. How can you kill? You have never seen Jesus kill you. In the spirit, it was a scar for life that will remain. For that witch doctor. Although it's ended there when he was scattered all over. No, Because of the time. I didn't show you what went after that. After that, the angel collected every piece into a plastic and go to his house and throw it like that. And it was connected back again. And after connecting back, that person will sleep the whole day and the whole week will be in pain in his physical body. Because something has happened in the spirit. It was a near-death experience. And we were showing him you mustn't take people lightly. There are people who've got the power of God who can do whatever they can do to punish the kingdom of darkness. I know I have power to punish the kingdom of darkness. I, I don't use it very often. I know my limitations. I've set some restrictions. Sometimes I do things so that they will repent. I will say, after this, if you want this thing to be removed, you need to repent and accept Jesus as your personal Savior. That's the only solution. I've locked everything. I chase every customer, his customer away. Am I boring you, church? With these stories. Are you getting it? One thing that you need to know, he has plans. In his mind. What did he bring you here? To Mount Zion Carnation. Why did you, I mean, communicate us? Why did he network us? So that we will know each other. So that I will impart in you. There are people who are not the members of Mount Zion Carnation. But we came together. You have a share in this ministry. You support this ministry. Even with your prayers. Even with your prayers. So you have a share. There are things that are being deposited in you. Like for example. You testify, right? So boys come and take your car. And run away with your messages. But before they run away with your messages, you gave me your messages. So bless it for four days. I was driving a message. Amen. I keep on your messages. Amen. And later on, you invested. You gave God through me that the Lord would bless your car. 
And I drove your car. My child. Later on, tragedy came. Figging king. When I receive your call, your car has been stolen. Some other some other saints were praying. But I just took a phone and I called back. And I said, can I speak to and I said to her, place your hands on your chest. And I recall what you did. And I said, Lord, remember. She gave me her car. I was driving it around. And living with it in I called that car back. I stopped every moment. Let it come back now. And I closed the telephone. After finishing that, for a while, the car was found. Do you have a claim that you can use before God in your days of calamity? Can you say, God, can you remember the good that I did before you take my life away? Before you take my car away? Before you take my car away? Hello? Sometimes we need to claim in our, in our deposit account, in our savings. In our savings. And say, Lord, City Ghost, remember this car. Kumbula le mod. Now, Mam Naba. Yes, Mam Naba. used to drive me everywhere, starting a eh, Mazim Toti. Why try to go drive a Mazim Toti? Mazim Toti is Kali Branch. Shumayala. Sometimes the car will have some technical problems. Why is it Kati Moti or Banjane in King? Why is it inside the car? Mangananga and it will run smooth. You have a good tool. Why? There are things in me that can transcend the natural. The technicalities because of the blessing that is upon me. When I enter the room, everything changes. When I enter a car, everything technical will fall into place. I'm not an ordinary person. I have a calling upon my life. I have been charged by God. I'm not like you. you are, I'm a leader. Are you with me, church? Are you getting it? I thought... I'm trying to give you the ways of God. The formulas. The methods of how God does things. Look at this woman. The servants of God say, I'm hungry. Oh, he said, I'm thirsty. Give me water. And this woman said, Okay, I'll give you water. I want to fetch water. And he said, no, I'm hungry. He gave me food. And he said, God, this is our last plate. I can't give it to you. And he said, give it to me. I'm the servant of God. And he said, I will. That's okay. He fixed the supper. He gave the man of God. The man of God ate. After eating, when the man of God was full up, he began to cry. After eating, when the man of God was full up, he began to say, "Thus saith the Lord." He began to say, "Thus saith the Lord." Thus saith the Lord. Eating goes. Food will never run dry in your house as long as there is famine in the land. Food will never 
run out. God and the man of God went. When the woman went to the kitchen, there was food. They fixed themselves food. The man of God was, was not supposed to be worried. How after I finish the food, he will call back. Hey, is there any food left? There? Are you still alive? It was none of his business. His business, his business is to speak. Because God spoke. Everything, Everything came into existence. And the man of God went away without looking if food was still remaining in the house. And he came tomorrow and passed by. He never asked for food. The food food was already fixed for him. For three and a half years, he came and eat here. Why he came to eat here? And because he was adding a blessing upon blessing. The more the woman will give the man of God, the more it will come into the house. There is a secret in that. There is another woman also who gave the man of God. He went over. He created he built an upper room a house. When he come and he put the bed, bed and a chair and a table for the man of God. One day calamity strikes. His boy died. He took the boy into the bed where the man of God sleeps. Into the room where the man of God prays. And he cried. And he said, I never wanted this boy. You prayed for me. I received this boy. And he sent for the message to the man of God. And the man of God never delayed. Because he knew the investment of this woman. You know, there are things that you can invest in the kingdom of God. Where God will call for the highest of his stakeholders. He will give you the trustees of his kingdom to come into your house. You know Dokas? Dokas. Died. He was investing in the kingdom of God. He gave to the poor. The Bible says, the one who gives to the poor lends to the Lord. When she died, these widows, they cried and said, look, what she did for us. Look, this is so beautiful. Nobody will do this the way she did it. And Peter came and he saw they were crying. He saw the work that she did. And Peter went to the upper room. And he saw the woman crying. And he began to pray. Lord God Almighty, I see the works of this woman. The people that you love, they are crying. Bring her back. And the Lord said to Peter, Raise her. I've given you the power. And Peter said, Dokas! Wake up! (coughs) And she woke up. And she came down with her. 
and say, women, this is your helper. This is your supplier. I've brought her to life. Have her again. And they were praising God. They were celebrating. You see, what you do, it will stand for you in your day of your calamity. There is nothing that you do in vain. Keep on doing what is right. Do what the word of God commands. Then you will see the results in the end. Actually, not in the end. In the day of your need. You will see. You will partake. Are you getting it? Just keep on doing it. It's a principle. The Bible says, because we have kept the word of my patient, the word, and I will keep you in the days of destruction. There is a day that is coming upon the world. That is, people will eat humans. People will drink blood. Everybody, no, it will have no choice. Everybody will drink and bath in the blood. Because the sea will be the blood. The dams will be the blood. The rivers will be the blood. When you open your tap, blood will be out. And it will be the blood of a dead person. Just see the smell, the atmosphere, the oxygen will be contaminated. The atmosphere will be contaminated. <laughs> when you breathe, you'll be breathing the blood. And the sun will hit in a way where it will burn your skin. And there will be some sores that will never be healed by any doctor. Those hours are coming. The time is coming. It's near. When I teach you about eschatology, I will give you the details of what is happening right now. Are you with me, church? God has plans for your life. Jeremiah 29, verse 11. Jeremiah 29, 11. I, have, I know the plans that I have for you. The plans are not to harm you, but to prosper you and have a peaceful future. I, to have a peaceful future, I have plans. The Lord has plans. Yes, he has plans. The plans that he has for you to prosper. Do you know how to please God? Do you know? Do you know how to please God? Yes. Answer me. Mpendu. You don't know. No worries. It's by faith. Call. There is no other way you can please God. I can no, there is no uh -uh. other way. I... Only one way. Yodo. By faith. Call. It's only faith that pleases God. There is no other way. I can. Faith responds in the word of God. Faith 
Faith believes everything that God has said. Can these bones live? Faith will respond by saying, Yes, Lord, all things are possible. Faith will ask, how can I be pregnant without sleeping with a man? Faith will respond. The Spirit of the Most High God will envelop you. You will be pregnant. Can somebody be pregnant without sleeping with a man? Yes, it did happen with Mary. Can I receive a man in my hand without a cash register or a cash machine or an ATM? Yes, it did happen in today's day technology. I don't have cash with my hands. But I can take a faith and open my account and transfer money into your account without you touching money. 